Hey guys, let's build a in-game calendar with a with a timer, so we can get the year, season, date, and time. Yeah. So, like I was saying, um, this is going to be an in-game calendar. I'm recording over this. This is my first time really recording anything with my voice, so I might be a bit nervous and shy. Uh, right now, I'm just setting up my f files. So, while that's going, I guess I can exp talk about myself a little bit. Um, I'm from Australia. I've been developing uh, for about, um, let's see probably two years now and I'm still very new to it so don't expect anything too amazing coming out of me <laughs> um, uh, yeah so basically right now I'm just uh, I'm still setting up my scripts um, I'm setting up all my pro files not my scripts this is my only script that I'll be doing today is just a display time um, and what we'll do is gonna set up materials now so yeah like I was saying this uh, clock is gonna be good for multiple things that you could do you can uh, my idea for it is going to be setting it up with a power grid for solar panels and that so I can activate it during the day and I can actually set it to that time I, I never had a way before I've been wanting to make this clock for a while now um, so in the scene I've just made a plane, I'm uh, moving my camera around and I've added material to the plane. I'm um, just setting the camera up just to make it look a bit nicer. I'm going to be adding a new camera called UI camera. And this camera's main job is just to show the UI, nothing else. I'm changing its depth to uh, depth only. Depth only and it's UI to UI. I'm going to be making a canvas, setting it to camera, and also I will be moving it to uh, scale of screen. I just added the UI camera to the rendered camera. Um, let's make some text now. Uh, there'll be four texts, so obviously there'll be the clock, uh, season, day, and um, year and we'll be all hard coding it into the display so we'll be um, accessing it through the scripts we won't be uh, playing with uh, public variables or anything like that <laughs> so yep I'm just gonna be setting the padding now and all that type of good stuff I'm going to be setting the padding to 15 on the X and uh, 15, well I'll actually be changing the Y to 15, 30, so on, just to uh, uh, put, put it up, 15 on the X just moves it a little bit from the left hand of the screen in, in more to the right. I'll also be changing all of the text to a font size of 15, I'll be making it bold and then giving it all a different name. So that will be coming up. I work a bit slow apparently compared to me speaking about it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, there's not really much to say right now. I'm a very, very slow person when I'm working here. <laughs> if only I could speed it up. My editing skills in, uh, in um, my video editor is not very good right just yet so I'll get better at that soon enough like I said this is my first time recording my voice um, it's not my first video recording but all my other video recordings I've just used um, layover sounds and I've also sped it up so I never had to speak <laughs> because I've always been very nervous and so far this recording doesn't sound very good to me <laughs> Yep, so now I'm just setting up like boilerplate, so year, season, day, and time. So that's basically what it's going to look like after we've scripted. And uh, let's just throw the script onto the UI camera. Yep, just proving that it's on there. Don't know why, but I did. Let's open it. Now I'm going to be a bit weird here because, well, I've already got a mono open with my pre compiled um, scripts script so I just dragged it off thinking that that would work like a fool
but it didn't. But I ended up not caring and just typing anyway. <laughs> but I do fix it in the end. It's a bit of a, a bit of a mess up. Uh, I I end up closing out of it. So there's like a probably a solid minute of me doing friggin' nothing. <laughs> So right now I'm yeah, just increasing the um, text so you guys can see it very easily. I'm making it a Unity Engine using UnityEngine.ui because we're accessing the text variables. Um, I do make a lot of comments so if you guys don't like my voice uh, you can just read the comments instead. That'll be easy. Um, but anyway. For this one, I'm, I make it a constant because I don't really want a um, like a fast forward or play or a pause button, so I don't particularly want to change this time at all. And it is going to be an int value once I start writing it. So a private constant int time scale and I set it to 45 here for now anyway I do change it later uh, to 2500 for testing purposes um, anyway 45 gives one minute for one hour so I, I've done some tests obviously trying to figure out where the best um, scale for that is so right here I'm setting the text variables to um, t obviously text, clock text, day text, season text, and year text. You have to do this or else you'll get a null reference exception and they can be very annoying. Also, I will do it in the start where I get the components. Uh, quick quick explanation of null, uh, null reference exceptions. If you do not get the component and then the act, if you don't get the object, then the component in the object you'll get a null reference exception and they can be very painful especially if you don't know what you've done wrong <laughs> so I'll, I'll quickly uh, show you oh no never mind I'm still doing bloody variables <laughs> private double uh, I use double for more position I don't really need to I could have used an int for example but I don't know I just felt like using a double is it's a small program. I'll probably end up changing it if it goes into a larger program, but for this right now, it will work perfectly fine. <coughs> so, in the start, I'm setting the month to one and the day to one, so it's going to be the first month and the first day. Um, and obviously, the year is up to you when you want to start it. Uh, I'm starting at 2016 for the tutorial. But you can start it at 1,000, 1, 20,000. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. So here we are setting the uh, clock text to get the component from the game object. So I'm going in clock text equals game object dot find clock. And you have to be very specific with your spelling in those, in those parentheses. So if you can see down in the canvas still on my hierarchy I've got it with a capital C clock and then I'm going get component don't worry about day text I, me I messed up there it's meant to just be text <laughs> but I do end up fixing that very soon uh, I got lazy and I just copied um, I would recommend copying it's very easy <laughs> makes things go faster especially in some code uh, yep so I'm making a day text, a season text, a clock text, and a year text here. I'm getting, I'm finding the game object, and then I'm getting its component text, and that's that's why what you need to not get a null reference exception. Make sure you uh, get correct spelling, or else you'll mess that up. I think I go in to try and explain it here. And I'm pretty sure I fail hard, so don't worry about it. And I'm pretty sure this audio recording also failed very hard in explaining it as well. <laughs> yeah, I kind of suck at this. <laughs> I'll, I'll get better, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, when I stop being slack and move on faster, we can go on and explain more stuff. 
I think at this point I start getting pretty sick of my um, why it's not bringing up IntelliSense or anything. So yeah, I do make one of my functions that I will be creating soon, but I just saved and closed it. Now I'm starting up Mono again, and um, yeah, don't worry about the dead error. It's nothing right now. We'll we'll fix that because it's because it's saying dot day text where. I, it was meant to be just text, so hopefully you guys fixed that already. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit better. A bit more color. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Hopefully I'll stop messing around and start fixing everything. Nope, I'm still going. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's my, uh, that's my, just my, uh, you know copy copy text so I can not mess up too hard on this video but I kind of failed that already <laughs> anyway I fixed the day text part up now it's just gonna be text so that should be correct then I'll start going into creating uh, more functions so I've got my calculate season there I will put in calculate time in the update loop and that's the only thing we don't want to call too much in the update loop because if you if updates calling a lot of things it will keep calling it and in the end it will slow down very it will slow down your system quite a bit so we only want to call one thing and only when it has to be called so you'll be able to see how I do that in the function hopefully so um, I'm just making my functions now. I'm not putting anything in them at the moment. I will get back to them soon. Uh, I just want to get those errors gone. Like it doesn't really matter the errors because we're not gonna be building or anything at the moment. But it uh, it's just good to clean it up, you know. So I'm making a text call function, calculate season, calculate month, and a calculate time. Each one will be obviously specific. The text call function is probably the easiest right now. It all it will do is it will, uh, when it's called, it will just write text on the screen. So I'm going to do day text here, and it, make sure you do that dot text, or you will get a uh, error. It's quite a confusing error as well. I would recommend actually doing that error so you can see what the error is so you know for next time. Um, so, yep, I'm just doing day, uh, colon, and then plus day. Time, this one's a bit more. Time plus hour, colon, and then plus minute. And then I'm also doing year. Season will come later. Uh, we don't want uh, to be calling season every time if it's not going to be um, changed every time. If you get me. Probably could do it for year as well. Uh, we could only call it when it actually needs to be called, but for the tutorial, I've just decided to do it this way. So we'll go on to calculate time. This is the main method, really. Um, we're going to be setting up all the uh, how how it all all the logic basically for the time, and we'll be using time dot delta time. It's probably not the best way to do it, but it's the way I did it. I did actually fixed delta time. I should have done probably time dot time uh, delta time. I'm not too sure. I oh, know actually I did de uh, delta time here. I was going to do fixed delta time. I'm not so sure why. And then there's our const variable. And I'm just going to be uh, making, obviously, a comment. Just telling you that if you change the time scale constant variable, it will change the speed of the actual time. So, with this project, I used a lot of if else statements and if statements. I didn't really use I didn't use any actual for loops or while loops or any type of loop and that might be because I'm not not the best programmer that's probably why or I'm I just could not figure out how to do it with a loop um, the way I have done it it works it works very well 
um, but it could probably definitely get upgraded to a better point but this works for what I wanted it to work for and it does what I what I need so in this if statement I've done uh, seconds is less than to equal to 60 minute plus plus so I'm plusing minute by one seconds will go back to zero I'm setting seconds to zero and then I'm calling my text function so it will update um, day clock and year every time so that that's why I'm saying that probably the year might not have been the best thing to have in the text call function you could probably put that by itself in the year part when we get to that so I'm doing an else if minute is less than or equal to 60 hour plus plus minute equals zero uh, calling text function again uh, else if hour is less than or equal to 24 day plus plus so incrementing that by one again and then we're setting it back to zero then calling the text function and this is why I mean I probably could have done a, a, a loop of some sort but I just didn't know how to at the point at this time I'll get better definitely when it comes when I continue doing it but for now it works it works very it works well for me so and I'm pretty sure it'll work well for most projects. I don't see why it would be that bad. Uh, this else if month is less than or equal to 12, um, I would make that a 13 because when it hits 12, it actually goes straight back to 1. It doesn't actually count the 12 month. So making it 13 will make it count that 12 month. And then uh, setting the month back to 1. Um, incrementing year and then calling the text function which could be replaced with just year text dot text instead of putting the year text up there and then um, calculating the season which we will make soon I'm just gonna do another comment I like to do lots of comments don't know why but it's very it's actually really good if you comment all your code um, so you know in six months time you can come back you can cringe at it you'd be like what the hell was I thinking um, also you know exactly what you were doing <laughs> but uh, yeah so definitely comment 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 um, don't do too many comments though um, if you do a lot of comments it can just look messy and especially if it's not needed so like right now I'm doing a whole comment for that whole if in if else statement which will basically explain the whole thing if statements are looking for less than or equal to uh, one once <laughs> once it hits 60 it will increment minute by one which can be down to hour and then you can just get the general gist so let's build the season method Right, the season method, I, I thought about this a lot, um, obviously I'm doing it in an if statement, it seems to be the easiest, and I'm just getting the first three months, then I'm doing the second second three months, third three months, and the fourth three months, in an if, and then if else statement, if else statement, then I'm setting the season text to that specific month, uh, that specific season. For me, I'm Australian, so... Month one, two, and three, January, February, so on, is summer. So, for wherever you are, if you want to change it, by all means, um, I'm pretty sure that's winter for Americans. So, go ahead and change it to your 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 calendar, uh, your time zone, basically whatever. Um. So yeah. Um. I end up actually thinking that I should just copy this at this point because it make it easier instead of being typing all that out. So yep, yeah, basically you're just counting up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so on, all the way to 12. And then I end up making a debug statement at the end, which we'll get to pretty soon, hopefully, if I hurry up. <laughs> This is going to be unedited, this um, script, obviously. I just wanted it to be... To see all my mess-ups even after it's been scripted. <laughs> and yeah, I kind of failed. But whatever. Um, 
with my comments, you might have noticed that I don't do just the two forward slashes. I It's my preference. I messed up here by putting that question mark like 10 times. It was stupid. But um, I like to do the um, multi-line comment for actual comments. And then with uh, lines of code, I will comment them out with the two forward slashes instead. So I know easily which one is... Uh, a uh, bit of code that uh, what that I've um, commented out, or which one is a actual p p uh, pseudo code, pseudo code, which pseudo code just means um, pretty much English. So yeah, um, I'm making a debug log statement so we can see in the console um, it ticking. So it will tell us it's it will tell us the month. So the uh, numeral numeral ah the number so it'll be one for example it'll be one space summer and then as you go up it'll be two space summer three space summer four space autumn four five space autumn etc um making more comments obviously yeah, I'm just explaining that these are for Australian because I'm I'm guessing that some Americans will probably look at it or some pe other people from other countries will look at it and think I'm a freaking retard because those aren't the seasons for you guys. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to be a bit more specific about that. Hopefully we move on pretty fa fast. Uh, we only have calculate month left it looks like so this one's a bit long we have to because I wanted it to be very I wanted it to have the actual days so like um, for January there's 31 days and um, for February for example there's only 28 days and there's 29 days in a leap year but I didn't actually add a leap year because um, the leap years are a bit difficult. You have to do a lot of mod. Well, they're not difficult, but they do require a bit more um, stuff, a bit more code, and you have to use mods, uh, which is the percent sign. And you have to divide it by 400, 104. But at the same time, it might not work if you're not using the Gregorian cal calendar. So, yeah, I just just took out the leap year I might add it another time but right now it's just yeah, I'm not gonna add it so I'm just explaining that I'm doing the first month which is gonna be 31 days in January March May July August October and November so I'm just doing the same thing like seasons I'm making month equals equal equal make sure you do the equal equal so it's actually um, looking at oh yeah month is equal to one and one is one so those two match up it instead of the single equal which is an assignment if you go if say month comes into this and go and month is four and month is one equal sign one that will make month one instead of four again hopefully you understood that there's plenty of tutorials out there um, explaining that type of stuff but yeah anyway <laughs> Moving on, I've done, I've just got all the months, so uh, in this code, basically, it will go, it'll come into here and it'll go, alright, um, month is equal to, say, uh, 7, and then it will jump into this next if statement. If it's not equal to any of that, it will skip this whole if statement, and then the next if statement, and then it will go into the next block of, um, it'll skip this whole block of if I uh, will be fixing up this, uh, these uh, parameters and spacings in a second. Well, I'm doing it now, actually. Making it look a bit neater and actually putting them in a block of brackets. Because I was silly and I forgot about that. So that those are the first couple months. Um, we'll move on to, I think I do the 30 days next. Um, apparently I want to add more comments because I like comments. I don't know why I added so many comments. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm explaining the 32. Um, basically in 
it will tick up to 31 and then it will just it won't do that day if you stay at 31 it will actually just reset it straight back to one straight away as soon as it hits 31 so making it 32 will make it actually do 32 days uh, the 31 day and then it will um, go back to one so yeah that will actually just correct that for you because um, code starts at zero and yeah it's a bit it, it can be a bit confusing anyway I'm going on to make the next couple months these are the 30 day months so uh, month equals four and so on and so on um, yep I'll also I'll be doing the exact same as um, number one uh, the first block of if statement here but um, I'll be going in in the if statement, I'll be going day is less than or equal to 31 this time, so it actually does count the 30th day. And then, yeah, exactly the same month plus plus day equals one, call the text function and calculate season. So we're just doing all that. Um, Feel free to skip ahead. <laughs> I can be a bit slow, but at the same time, you guys could be trying to copy this out, so I didn't really want to f speed it up or skip over anything. Um, so yeah. Uh, yep, like I said, just copying the same function, the same um, method, parameters, whatever. <laughs> Not parameters. Oh god, I'm terrible at this talking thing. I definitely have to practice. <laughs> Adding another comment. I think my comments were better at talking than myself. So I'm just handling the other months. Um, that only have 30 days. And then I noticed that I forgot my February month. So I add that now. So if month equals 2 which is Feb. Oh yeah, I'm just explaining about the leap year. Um, like I said, I didn't want to add this because it, it, it's a bit more stuff to add for this simple tutorial. I didn't really want to add too much to it, especially getting into uh, mod. So I just kept it simple. It's exactly the same as the top, but we're looking at 29 days, so it actually counts the 28th day. And plusing it, and then day equals 1. Yep, calculating the time, see, uh, calculating the season and the function, so that's it. So, um, now... Just save it off, make sure you always save it. I save it pretty much after every line of code that I write, generally. Um, playing with the size for God knows why reason. Um, I, I am going to set some things differently now. Uh, I wouldn't set them differently, except for that else if statement on line 133. Make, that, make sure you do that to 13 instead of 12. Uh... Let's see, just test it out. Should be all working. Sets the season, sets the year, the day, and the minutes is ticking up. So four, five, and when it hits 10, it will actually go into double digits. I didn't know why it stayed at single digits. I tried to fix that, but I just couldn't figure it out. Um, now I'm going back and we'll be testing out um, Speeding it up, so I'm going to be changing this to the time scale to 2500. If you go any higher, it seems to bug out a bit, and it doesn't really like that. So, 2500 definitely would be the maximum you can go. And I change in the void start also, I set the month to 27, day to 20. Uh, oh no, the month to 12, and the day to 27. This is when I notice that I need to change that back down to 13. Um, and then I also go back down into the calculate month, I believe. Yep, calculate month. And I change the day all to equal 27. It's just for testing, so I can see 
the month tick up, the year tick up, the time tick up, and the day tick up. All of it will tick up. And you'll see it in a second. It does take a little while, um, but definitely just test it yourself. So I was going to do maximum maximize, but then I realized it's still at the console, so... Yeah, this is when I noticed that I needed to make it back to 13, because see how it went into 12, and then it ticked straight down into the second, into uh, 1. So it completely skipped December, it just went straight back to January. And that kind of annoyed me at this point, so... <laughs> I just left it, and as you can see, how it's got only 1 there, that's good. We only want it to call once, every when it actually needs to be called. We don't want it to be called multiple times. So yeah, definitely um, remember remember to do that because um, calling it multiple times will slow down your system, bog it down soon enough, especially if it gets big enough. Um, but yeah, it's just organization. So uh, you just saw the day tick up, that worked perfectly. And the year has ticked up from 20, 2016 to 2017. We are in summer. I do show off later that we go into um, winter. And yeah. Yeah, I kind of um, just let the video play for the next three minutes because I'm crazy. <laughs> I guess I could explain this. Explain stuff, I don't know. Talk about stuff. Um, I want to keep making tutorials. I do like this. This is quite fun for me. Um, I'm very nervous, obviously, at first. Um, I, I speak like a retard, and I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so not used to this type of stuff yet. Um, definitely a uh, comment about what you want to see. I, I'm willing to make uh, anything that you kind of want. Tutorial wise, I like I like challenges. This was a, a bit of a challenge for me to make because it was new. I haven't actually done it before and I really wanted to try it because like I said, I wanted a solar panel system so I can uh, make it so it um, stays with uh, only activates during a certain time, so you say 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. at night, and then it will turn off. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for definitely making more in the ways of videos. Uh, tutorial wise, I do like this, this was kind of fun. Um, I do like my speed videos, they're a lot more easy. I don't have to talk and arm a lot and in a lot and just be confused in general. Um, but obviously, if I get better then definitely I'll do it more. Um, yeah, so, but like 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 I just said, I just um then, and it's just crazy. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're at day 30 now. We're about to tick over to day 31. This is why we made it 32 instead of 31. So we can actually ha say at, so we can actually have day 31 as a, a full day instead of just a nothing, which it would do. So yeah, that's why I did it at 32 instead of just 31. But once it hits that, it should show up on the console. I do wait for it just to prove to myself. I could have been a bit more better at this and just set it in the script a bit better. You can make the um, the things public if you wanted to. Uh, you can make the day, month, and... Um, year public and then you could change it in the inspector and watch it by just quickly changing it in the inspector that's up to you obviously I like to just keep it private just for because I don't really like using the inspector to change stuff that like that unless I'm full testing there we go it just ticked up so now it's on month 2 Fe uh, September so that means we're in February I should have waited actually because it would have it finished on day 28 so I'll go back in the code here, I just, um, I changed it to month 11, and I fixed this to 13. Like, like I said, you should do, you should do that. I try and point out that it actually is very important. <laughs> so it should say spring now. 
so yeah, so there we go. We've got another season working. Uh, like I said, you could change all the um, the season to months months instead by just uh, going into the code and just going into the month uh, calculate month part and changing. Uh, you'd have to change a lot. You'd have to obviously go um, if month equals equals one, um, then you do. Uh, what month it's called and then two three four five six all the way for 12 I thought that would be a, a bit too much stuff so I just did it with this anyway uh, that's all for now um, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, comment like subscribe whatever have a good day